So have you ever downloaded a Minecraft map and seen an image inside of an item frame? Today I'm going to be showing you on how you can make your own map inside of an item frame and then you can use this for maybe a jigsaw puzzle, maybe you can use this for some really cool custom paintings and all sorts of really cool decorations. But with all that said, let's just go ahead and get right into the video. Now the program that we're going to be using, it is called Image Map 3, created by Trey Outstar. And you will find a link down below in the description so you can download this. So then scroll down, click on download link, and there's also going to be a little mini tutorial if you want to go and read through all that. So we have Image Map 3.zip. Click on that and it will automatically download. So then after that one, go ahead and drag that over to your desktop. I've already done that, so I don't need to worry about that. And go ahead and right click and click extract to image map 3. Now once the program is extracted, go ahead and open up the folder and open up the program itself. And you can either open up a Java world or a Bedrock world. Since we're on Bedrock, we're gonna open up a Bedrock world. And there's our world they were just in. And now the next step is finding the images that you want to download. For me, I've already downloaded five images. Now the next step is clicking and dragging the images right side of here. And the cool thing about this is that you can either stretch to fill the item frame or you can have it be the default size. For me, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it on stretch to fill item frames. Now, depending on the amount of maps that you want, you can go ahead and make this fill up multiple maps. So if you wanna fill up a three by three radius, then you can do that. So that'll be about nine maps that you're gonna be getting in exchange. So for me, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it on one just for today's video and go ahead and click on confirm. Now after that, the image has been added inside of here. You then have to click on send all to world. Now and also make sure that you click on add new maps inventory and I'm going to go ahead and add in a few different images. Now to that, send all to world. And now click on existing maps and all of our maps are not points out of there. So let's open up the world and whenever we get into the world, then we should be seeing a chest inside of our inventory, which is going to contain all of our maps. So there we go, open it up and here is our maps. So we're going to go ahead and take all these. And as you can now see, these are the images that we did download, but however, they're not going to look the best. Now, if you were to go ahead and fill up multiple item frames, then you could probably make it look a little bit better. But since we are stretching it to fit only one item frame, it's definitely not going to look the best. But we do have ourselves the final one, the box art for Market Bedrock. And the best part about these maps is that they are locked. So they're not going to change whatsoever which is also a really, really big bonus. Now I'm gonna go ahead and come back over to the program and we're gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna click on delete this existing map. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on import maps and we're gonna click and drag this image right it's out of here. So then we're gonna go ahead and make this fill up multiple item frames. Cause I wanna go and show you that this can look really good. So we're gonna make it fill up about four item frames. Then click on confirm. Now after that, all of those maps are going to be put inside of there. You can use this for some kind of puzzle mini game. So add all to world. And now all of those images are now put inside of there. Now I'm going to close right outside of here. We're going to load Minecraft back up. Alrighty then, so we're not inside the world and I've added in the chest already. And these are all the maps that we have created up. So to make this a little bit easier on us, I'm going to go ahead and clear my inventory. And I'm going to go ahead and break this chest. And now we have all of our maps. So the next step is trying to figure out about which piece goes where. And now as you can see, this is what it's going to look like when you put all of those pieces together. So this would make a really, really cool puzzle game for anybody that enjoys puzzles. But with all that said, that is how you get yourself custom images for your maps in Minecraft Bedrock. I do want to hear your thoughts down below in the comments about what you think of all of this. And if you enjoyed today's video, then let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe so you never miss an upload. For now, I hope you have a logical day and I'll catch you next time. Bye!